Good evening. It's Wednesday night, and it's time for our sacred service here at North Hollywood Church of Religious Science. Welcome to everyone here in the sanctuary. Welcome to everyone on Facebook, live, and on Zoom. We're going to begin, as we do every Wednesday, with 10-minute Vipassana meditation. So if you would just become comfortable in your seats, perhaps put your feet flat on the floor. If you're at home, in your home sanctuary, blink your eyes closed, and we'll begin. Allowing that sense of physical alignment and spiritual atonement to intertwine. Calmly breathing in and breathing out. Simply bringing your awareness to that ever flowingness of your breath and as is likely to happen should there be a thought that comes into your mind just bless it release it and bring your awareness back to your breath if there's a physical sensation or a sound that you hear that brings your awareness to it. Simply bless it and bring your awareness back to your breath. I am breathing in. I am breathing out. I am breathing in. I am breathing out.
I am breathing in. I am breathing out. And gently bring your awareness back into your home sanctuary or this sanctuary. Blink your eyes open and welcome. Happy Wednesday, everybody. Welcome tonight. Um, Reverend Mark had a last minute conflict, so he will not be pulpit host tonight. I'll be sitting in for him. And uh, tonight, we do have here for the talk our beloved practitioner, Ms. Liz Racy. And Liz's topic is listen and obey. Oops, I forgot the obey part. That's her topic. Also, of course, we want to welcome um, Sam Krieger, our musical director. Thank you, sir. And Darius Lux is here for us tonight, so let's open up with the two. Thank you, thank you, Darius. Thank you, Sam, of course. Let's open with a prayer. I bring my awareness to the oneness, the loveness, the peace, the abundance, that goodness that I feel, sense, and know at the very center of all that is that create, creative energy which sparks itself into existence and unfolds in perfectness, perfect unfoldment as all that is in every space and time, in every plane and level. And I call this energy, this love, this peace, this guidance, God. I know that God is everywhere present, experiencing itself as all that is as each person in this sanctuary, as each person on this campus, in this city, in our congregation, everyone experiencing this awareness of this sanctuary, this sacred time in sanctuary, feeling, sensing, and knowing that sense of beloved community. I speak this word for our time together in this magnificent service, knowing that it is absolutely blessed 100% blessed in the knowingness of that perfect spirit of love, that perfect spirit of kindness and unfoldment, knowing that every person here is blessed, everyone in the sanctuary, everyone experiencing this from a digital medium, everyone who is here, everyone who wishes they could be here, and everyone who holds this community in its highest consciousness. I know that our music is absolutely blessed. 
I know that all of our participants are blessed, and most particularly, I know that our beloved Liz Racy is blessed, and that her talk is an expression of the word of God, using those human words that she has strung together to speak that word of spirit, of truth. And I know that this word gently rests in the perfect place for each one that opens to this word, opens to this consciousness, opens to this time together in sanctuary. I am so grateful for this knowing. I am grateful for this prayer, which is already answered in the mind of God, in that perfect unfoldment. And I release this word into the perfect law, knowing that that law responds magically, miraculously, even mysteriously, perfectly. In faith, I know it is done. I declare it to be so, and so it is. And together we say, Amen. Please join in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. There's so much information getting in the way So many things to do, so many calls to make Don't know my left from right up and down and I just wanna wanna tear it all apart like a brand new star too many TV screens magazines in my face feel like I'm sinking that I'm lost without a trace what are we all looking at or should I go to find little little space to find my very own place if you just listen already know so won't you listen you'll know where to go listen to your inner voice you hear the beat of your heart you're free to make your own choice there's so much talking but who's really speaking to me there's so much rushing but i rarely see any speed i feel like hitting out and screaming loud but i I don't wanna, don't wanna hurt nobody close. It's when I need to listen most. Cause when you listen, you'll know where to go. So won't you listen? Enjoy as you go. Listen to your inner voice. You hear the beat of your heart. You're free to make your own choice. So many people, they're gonna tell you what to do. Do this, do that, it's so hard to break through I know it's easy to just stop feeling But I want to know what's up with you Listen, you already know So won't you listen, you know where to go Listen to your inner voice You hear the beat of your heart You're free to make your own choice
Thank you so much. That was beautiful. I, I have an announcement. Am I, am I looking at the camera? Welcome, welcome. Nice to see you all out there in virtual land and here. And yes, I'm going to talk about listen and obey. I love that song, listen, listen. And yes, I mean, that's why we do our prayer and our meditation practice is so that we can listen. And then the next step is obey. And if you're a redheaded Irish Taurus gal, <clears throat> obedience is not your strong suit. So I always get that lesson. Uh, now obey, now obey. I listened, I heard, now obey. So I want to start with a reading tonight, Ernest Holmes. When you want to do a big thing, get the mental pattern, make it perfect, know just what it means, enlarge your thought, keep it to yourself. Pass it over to the creative behind power behind all things. Wait, listen, and when an answer comes, obey it with assurance. Obey it with assurance. And um, I'm going to share a story with you where I listened all during this experience. I didn't obey a dang thing. So um, uh, sign language is not English. It's its own conceptual language. Like Reverend Mark would not be speaking French and English at the same time. You really, it's not really good to speak sign and English at the same time. You're trying to catch two languages and make them meld. So someone, either the hearing person or the deaf person, is going to miss something when you do that. It's called uh, SIMCOM, sim simultaneous communication, SIMCOM. It's like the worst way to uh, communicate with deaf people. And um, so I had a friend, and she's a CODA, child of deaf adults, and she was going to facilitate a wedding. And um, she had a family emergency come up two days before the wedding, and she said, Liz, would you facilitate this wedding for me? And she said, you're going to have to SIMCOM. I'm like, uh, I don't really do that. And she said, no, no, it'll be OK, because it's really just for the bride and her mother that are deaf. So it'll really, don't worry about it. And, and the bride's really brilliant. So um, why don't you do that? Would you do that? I said, OK, OK, I can do that. And then I got that like sick feeling in the pit of my stomach. You know how that happens? Like you've agreed to do something, or you, you've taken an action step, and you go, hmm, that does not feel good. So um, I don't know about you all, but um, I talk to God like she's my, you know, constant BFF, constantly chatting with God. I'm a chatty Kathy with God. That's just how I like to communicate with God. And um, so, and I always ask God this question. And I said, because I was feeling, eh, even though I said yes, I said, God, is this mine to do? And God said, no, it is not. I'm like, how can that be? Come on, it's just a little wedding, you know, a deaf bride, a deaf mother, come on, it can't be that bad. And so I said, look, here's what I need to do. I want to get on a video camera with the bride, and I want to SimCom to her and see if she can understand me. And they're like, great, let's do that. So now it's one day before the wedding, and um, I get on the video camera with this beautiful, exotic, Indian deaf woman. I mean, just getting on the video phone, I was like, huh, huh, holy cow. Oh, wait, oh, wait, I got a sign. OK. Um, and uh, you know, she said, no, I, I said, I'm concerned. You know, I, I, I can't really do something like this naturally. And you know, it's your wedding. I want it to be as, you know, the most magnificent experience for you. And she said, no, no, I understand you perfectly. Really, you're, you're terrific. I'm like, oh, good. Well, later on, what I found out, she's a deaf linguist. She speaks seven deaf languages and reads seven deaf languages. She could understand a chimpanzee. <laughs> so I'm like, OK. And then before we hang out, she goes, oh, yeah, and you know what? We're Buddhist, so could you do a Buddhist ceremony? <laughs> I'm like, not Buddhist. OK, 
All right, so now, one day before the wedding, I'm Googling Buddhist prayers and Buddhist wedding traditions and all this stuff, and I'm printing everything out. I can't possibly memorize it, you know, within less than 24 hours. So I'm like, okay, and God, is, is this mine to do? No! I already told you. It's not. It's not just to do. Don't do it. I feel bad, you know, dropping out on my Coda friend. I, I'm going to go do this. And God's like, mm, girl. <laughs> so the wedding is in Laguna Beach. And it's in this very beautiful and secluded place that many celebrities get married in because it's so secluded. There is a whole big wall of rocks that comes out of the ocean, forms a horseshoe, and goes back into the ocean. And it's just amazing. And you know, to get down there, because you're at the top of the, st at the street here, and you got to go all the way down here to the horseshoe. And to get down there, there is um, what the city built was this staircase. It's, it's, it looks like a tower, and it's always chained off and locked. And, and then you walk down all the stairs, all the way down to the end of where the ocean is, and, um, which would be challenging for someone who has some sort of physical challenge to begin with. <laughs> um, but you know, the couple were of limited means, so they didn't get the permit. So the thing remained locked. And you couldn't walk down the steps to get to this lovely horseshoe area. You had to climb over the rocks. Now, I'm in a dress. I almost never wear a dress. You guys who know me, you rarely see me in a dress. But you know, for memorials and weddings, I feel like kind of like that old fashioned thing if I should pay more respect and be in a dress. And I was in boots, but I was in a dress. And I'm like, are you kidding me? And God's like, hmm, I've got to climb down these rocks. And then I see this little old uh, Asian woman, you know, about so high, weighs a pound, and she's in her 90s. And she's doing the same thing like me. Wow. <laughs> How do we do that? Well, two big, hunky, six foot plus workout gods come, pick her up, and carry her down the rocks to where the wedding is. And I'm like, next, <laughs> next. No, they did not come back up to get me. So I'm like, in my skirt, climbing down the rocks forever to get down here. So now I'm down there, and I'm looking around. Everybody's joining, climbing down the rocks. Everybody's deaf. It's not just the bride and the mother. Everybody's deaf. There's almost no hearing people here. I'm like, oh my gosh, these people are never going to understand me. And how am I going to, you know, we're at the beach, didn't think, no podium. So how, I'm holding my Buddhist stuff. How am I going to sign with one hand, hold my Buddhist stuff, and make sure everybody understands me? So the sun's starting to set. This was in January. And a storm's starting to brew. And God's like, mm, I am like, I hate, I, I told you so, God. I just, no. Nah. So I'm like, we better get this show on the road. And I'm wondering how we're going to start, because everybody's deaf, and they're just off doing stuff. And you know, there's no light. Usually, in a function, to get everyone's attention, you flick the lights. And everybody goes, oh, yeah, something's happening. Oh, yeah, it's starting. Well, that wasn't a possibility. So I'm, I'm just standing there wondering how we're going to get started. And you know everybody's milling around. And then all of a sudden, the bride starts walking down. Well, there's no music. Everybody's deaf. So there's no cue. I'm like, oh, we're getting started. OK. So I've got, I'm like, OK, God help me. And a gush of wind comes and takes my Buddhist papers off into the ocean. <laughs> so much for the Buddhist ceremony. That will not be happening. I'll be lucky to sign and, and talk at the same time that everyone here can understand me. So we get through the ceremony, luckily, and then the torrential downpour hits us. One of those really nasty January storms at the beach, torrential downpour. And we got to climb back up the rocks in the rain. Well, the two big hunky guys, they're, they're deaf. 
and they are, they're like workout buff guys, you know. They, they carry the old Asian lady up and a couple other old ladies. They're carrying them up and getting them out of the thing. And I'm walking and walking and walking and going through the rocks. And there's this crevice. I'm like, I can jump over this crevice. And God says, no, you can't, Liz. But if I don't, then I've got to go all the way back down there and go all the way over there and then climb all the way back. I'm halfway there. Don't do it, Liz. You know, God, I got this. I used to be a gymnast. Okay, 45 years ago, but I used to be a gymnast. So I can leap over this crevice. And God is going, don't do it. Trust me. I leap over the crevice. I barely make it. I slip on the rock. I fall. I bruise my shoulder, my hip, and tear my hamstring. And I don't have my phone because I left it in the car because I'm like, who needs a phone at a wedding? And I'm laying on this rock in a torrential downpour. And I'm like, I'm going to be here all night. I can't move. I can't get up. I can't. Anytime I try to move, it's like, ah, excruciating pain. OK, God, you know what? I messed this one up. I really should have obeyed. I did listen. You got me now. I'm going to obey from here on out. So please, God, God, send me an angel. I need an angel right now. God, I do not want to sleep all night in the torrential downpour on this rock. An angel is mine. I know an angel is mine. I know God will always solve everything. An angel is mine. The two big hunky guys come back. They wanted to make sure everybody got out OK. I'm like, did get out OK? <laughs> and they pick me up. And they carry me all the way up these rocks, down the street. And then I see my white SUV. I said, there's my car. And they take me over to my car. And they set me down. I'm like, oh, great. And I'm like, thank you, thank you so much. And they said, we'll see you over the reception. I went, uh-huh, no way. That ain't happening. <laughs> and, um, and I hear God say, don't let them go. I'm like, I'm at my car. Don't let them go. And, and I'm like, I got this, God. I'm, fine. I'm out of the woods, OK? And so the two deaf guys turn away, and they're deaf, and they're walking away from me. And I click, click my car. It's not my SUV. It's a white SUV, but it ain't mine. And so now I'm yelling at deaf guys, hey, come back, come, ha, ha. And I can't, I'm like, hey, hey, hey. And of course, they're deaf, so they do not turn around to help me. I spent the next 45 minutes wandering around in a torrential downpour looking for my white SUV like this. Yeah. So if you don't want to end up in a torrential downpour on a rock with a torn hamstring, <laughs> obey. Just obey. God is always talking to us. And some, for whatever every reason, sometimes we think, no, I got this. That's what I kept. I got this, and I want to help my friend, you know? Um, I got this. You know what? We only got what God is bringing to us, is providing for us, is flowing through us, and we only get that if we just say yes, yes. Oh, you want me to turn down here? I'll do that, God. Oh, God, you want me to go over here? I'll, I'm obeying now, baby. You taught me. <laughs> I learned on my own, obey that voice. Because when you obey that voice, you're on the right path, and something wonderful happens. You have a new experience. You have a new opportunity. You have a new way to make money. You have a new relationship. Something new is always happening when you obey. We know how to listen through our meditation. And then the next step is, Yes, God, I got this. I'm following you. I'm going to follow you to the end of the earth. All right, so let's do a little experiential here. I want you to get comfortable. Take a deep breath in through your nose, out through your mouth. Deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. Just take long, slow, deep breaths. You can feel every part of your being relax. 
You can feel your shoulders relax right where you are, your back, your knees. Every part of you is just sinking into this lusciousness of good. Now I want you to see right there above your sh crown chakra, this glorious golden light. You can see it descend upon you. Feel it, feel this golden light move through every part of your being as you slowly breathe in and slowly breathe out. It feels delightful. It's comforting. Everything you need to know is right here in this cone of golden light. Just let yourself breathe it in for a moment. See yourself breathe in the gold light. Move through your being. Exhale, gold light. It's here in this place all things are known. It's so easy to come here and simply say, I'm listening, Lord, speak. Speak, my God, my high holy self, I am listening. And I want you to ask your high holy self, what is mine to do? Listen. You're catching it. You're catching that insight. What is mine to do? What is my heart's desire? What is my purpose? You're catching it right now. Don't deny it. And ask your high holy self, what must I release to achieve this desire? What must I release? Do I need to release fear, doubt? Do I need to release the idea of not enoughness? Do I need to release the idea that I don't have the tools? I don't have the resources. What do I need to release that does not serve me in achieving this heart's desire? And now ask your high holy self, what must I embrace to experience this heart's desire, this purpose? What must I embrace? Do I need to be more forgiving? Do I need to be more loving? Do I need to be more aware? Do I need to listen more? And thank your high holy self for any insight you've just garnered, for any understanding, 
for any new knowledge right here that serves you on your purpose. God is always talking to you, talking to us. So from this moment on, we make a promise to ourselves. We will listen, we will obey, and it will bring forth our heart's desire, our perfect path, our good and more good. So we just stop right now and we take a moment and we recognize we recognize there's a power and a presence. There's a good, there's a thing. It wanted to express itself again in a more delightful and delicious way, and it thought of you. How wonderful. God wanted to express its perfection more and thought of you. Each one of us, we are one with this thing. We are one with this power. We are one with this good. We can never be separate from God. God is always thinking, moving, and having its way in, through, and as each and every one of us. So right now, we are claiming that eternality, that eternal quality, that infinite quality of God, we are claiming that as our very experience. We know that God is absolutely a perfect, unchangeable spirit living in, through, and as us, and we shall not deny it. We are in the yes of good, the yes of God, the yes of flow. We are in the yes of all that God is, and that means our physical body temples right here, they are experiencing health and wholeness. Where you are, if you are having a physical challenge right here and right now, we're going to say, already gone, already gone, already gone. The perfection of God is operating in every cell of our being. Thank you, Mother, Father, God. And right here and right now, we are claiming our divine purpose. We are knowing that our work is God's work and it prospers us and it delights us and it is creative and we are truly in a place of joy and bliss doing God's work. And we also claim for ourselves, for our families, for our community, for our church, we are claiming that infinite flow is moving through us. Abundance is the very nature of God. Abundance is the very nature of each and every one of us. And abundance is more than enough, more than enough health, more than enough harmony, more than enough peace, more than enough flow, more than enough money, more than enough of all that we need to fulfill our God purpose. Thank you, beloved Mother, Father, God. We're so grateful that right here we're experiencing loving relationships, relationships anchored in God. So right now, if you're having a struggle in any relationship with a boss or a co-worker or a friend or a family member, right now you're saying, I am the love of God. I am the love of God, and I experience that in all of my relationships. Thank you, beloved I am. And bring into your heart your own individual intention. What is your intention? Bring that into your heart right now. Feel it done. See it done. Know it done. And together we declare, I accept this truth for myself and all beings everywhere. We bless our church, our community. We bless all churches, synagogues, temples, mosques, ashrams. All paths to God, our paths to good, are leading us to the same perfect truth. Thank you, Mother, Father, God. We are so grateful. We are so grateful for this answered prayer. For when you speak the word, it goes into the law, and the law says, yes, 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 yes. Bet you by golly, wow. So I release this word into the law, where it is made manifest. Deep appreciation and gratitude. Let it fill your being as we agree. And so it is. Amen. I 
<laughs> Thank you, Darius. Thank you, beloved Liz. Thank you, Sam. Ah, this is our time of the service that we get to practice that spiritual practice of tithing and giving. Um, as many of you know, if you would like to give online, you can go to nhcrs.org forward slash give, and it will bring you to a, a facility where you can donate give your tithe to the church. You can also text your tithe, very, very easy thing to do. If you uh, text GIVE to 818-457-3419, or you can call in to the church for about 15 minutes after the service tonight uh, to give your tithe over uh, debit card or credit card at 818-762-7566. If you would take your tithe and bring it to your heart and repeat our giving statement with me. From the love of pure spirit within me, I bless this gift. I send it forth to heal and bless and prosper. It is evidence of my faith and belief. It does good work in the world and returns to me multiplied abundantly. Thank you, thank you. And as we bring our service to a close, of course we have gratitude, part of our spiritual practice of gratitude and thank you. So uh, we wanted to thank the whole church. would like to thank our vigil practitioners tonight who are Christine Crawford and Carrie Brown. And also on Facebook Live tonight, we have Melissa K. Allen and the Zoom team. Barbara Berg and Ray Regan are our NHCRS co-hosts tonight. And Lynn Romanowski, thank you, Lynn, is Zoom host. And Jim Reimers is the Zoom associate. In the sanctuary here, we've got Adam Keishan on sound 
and our Sanctuary Digital Media team, Doreen Remo and Nikki Svara, sorry, Nikki Svara and Brenda Jordan are here. Of course, led by our board president, uh, Blair Thompson, who is the head of the digital media team. Thank you uh, to our greeter usher, Colleen Butler, tonight. And of course, Darius Lux. And of course, you can get Darius Lux music at DariusLux.com. D-A-R-I-U-S-L-U-X, Darius. Lux.com. And thank you, Sam, musical director par excellence. Thank you, Sammy. And of course, our beloved speaker of the evening, practitioner Liz Racy. Yay! <laughs> Next week, uh, Reverend Mark plans to be here as your pulpit host. Uh, and so you can join him here next Wednesday. But for this evening, we have Wednesday evening announcements. So, of course, uh, donations are available uh, to be given over the phone for about 15 minutes after the service. Or you can go to nhcrs.org forward slash give uh, for, for the one-time or recurring donations. Or you can use the text to give, as I mentioned before, by texting the word give to 818 457 3419. And prayer with a practitioner. Um, there's prayer with a practitioner tonight following on Zoom. So if you're on Facebook Live, you can go to our Zoom link and uh, you can sit with the practitioner on Zoom. Uh, here in the sanctuary, uh, we will have uh, a list in the back if you'd like to be contacted this week. Uh, put your name down and a time that we can a practitioner can call you and we will be glad to pray with you. Uh, you can also email your prayer requests to prayer at nhcrs.org. If you'd like to put in a prayer request on the phone, you can call us at the church and go for option four for a prayer request. And our church number, of course, is 818-762-7566. And for those of us here in the sanctuary, the prayer box is in the back of the auditorium. Please take advantage and have our practitioners pray on your behalf, plus on the uh, opposite side of the prayer request. If you've experienced some demonstration, if you've listened to God and obeyed, and there was a demonstration there, please share it with us, and we will celebrate that demonstration with you. Uh, Wednesday evening service, next week, July 21st. Meditation begins at 6.50, of course. Service begins at 7 p.m. Join us next week um, where I'll be doing the talk. Um, so the, my talk as guest speaker, thank you, thank you, thank you, Mom. Um, <laughs> she's going like this. Um, uh, my topic for next week is dance with the music. I will be, of course, joined by our pulpit host, the, belight, the beloved Reverend Mark LaPonce. So come next week for Dance with the Music. Uh, Abundance Workshop 2000, uh, 2021, a science of mind tune-up for a happy life with Dr. Mark Vieira on Zoom. This is still going on Tuesdays from 7 to 8.30 through July the 27th. The cost is responsible giving. It's not too late to join Dr. Mark for this life-changing workshop based on the book, The Abundance Book by John Randolph Price. Visit our website for information and to sign up. Living a Course in Miracles on Zoom. This group facilitated by practitioner Jeannie Laporte meets tomorrow, sorry, yes, tomorrow, Thursday, July 15th on Zoom from 7.15 to 9.15 all are welcome. Circle of Healing on Sunday at 11.30 in the sanctuary here. Join practitioner Mary Catherine O'Hart this Sunday for this very special healing journey. She will gently guide you via your chakras in a loving healing experience. Feeding the Homeless. Our Love and Kindness Ministry will be feeding the homeless this Sunday. To support this ministry, please go to our website and you'll get information on how you can do that. In-person attendance Sunday in the sanctuary, we are open to in-person attendance. Our Sunday service is at 9.45 a.m. and we will continue to broadcast on Zoom and Facebook Live. But if you'd like to be here in person, we'd love to see you. 
Tonight, the virtual patio on Zoom continues after the service. It happens before and after service, both Sunday and Wednesday. So join with your beloved community and uh, chat and pray uh, on the virtual patio. See you there after the service tonight. Men's group every Sunday from 11 to 11.30. All men are welcome. And I believe that's in person and on Zoom. Correct me if I'm wrong. Zoom meditation is, continues every morning, Monday through Saturday at 8 a.m. So, of course, to visit our, web, visit our website, nacrs.org, for all of the information uh, and to get the Zoom links that you'll need and for further information about our events and to sign up for the weekly and monthly email blasts and newsletters. And with that, I'd like to ask our beloved Liz to come up and close out the evening in benediction. Oh, excuse me, my dear. Mm, what a blessing it is to come together in the name of God, in the name of good, in the name of love, in the name of peace, in the name of all that there is. How grateful we are to get to celebrate that life of God as our very life, knowing that we are never separate. We are always whole and perfect in all areas of our life. So right now, I know that we leave this place ablaze with the Spirit. We are on fire with the knowledge that God is and I am. God is that good and I am that good. God is that perfection. I am that perfection. God is, I am. Thank you, beloved Mother, Father, God. We are grateful. We are grateful. And I release this word where it is made whole in an agreement we say. And so it is. Amen. Amen. And we're going to sing once more, right? Let's close this out with a little blessed always. Blessed always, blessed always for the arms of God surround us. Let our joy be so triumphant. That we rest in God and say